Hi everybody, I'm so glad that you've joined in and signed up for prayer and fasting. Uh, many of you have come from different backgrounds. Some of you have maybe prayed and fasted before. Some of you, maybe this is the first time to ever enter into a time of prayer and fasting. So I just, first of all, just want to encourage you to go for it because your prayer makes a difference. It makes a real difference. Jesus in Matthew chapter 6, verse 7, he said, when you pray, pray like this. But the, the thing is this, is that Jesus expects his disciples to pray. Why? Because we are to have an expectation that when we pray, something will happen. Things will happen. And that's why Jesus himself said, pray that the Father's kingdom would come and his will would be done on earth. We can actually pray heaven into earth. You have that power as a born again believer, as one who's baptized in the Holy Spirit, one who's cleansed by the blood of Jesus. You have the power to actually bring something of heaven to earth as an ambassador in the name of Jesus. And God desires, he's looking for people who would pray those prayers, that human beings who would come and worship him in spirit and truth with the authority in the name of Jesus would welcome the kingdom of heaven on earth. And so your prayers make a difference. In actual fact, I'm reminded of where it says in, in Daniel, how in ch chapter 10 of Daniel, how when he was praying after 21 days of praying, you know, the angel came and said to him, on day one, I answered you. But as you continued to pray, you know, I had to fight off the, the princes over the uh, Persia. I had to deal with some stuff. But as you prayed, God answered. And, and as you kept on praying, and here I am 21 days later. Sometimes you need to pray and stay in prayer because there's things happening in the spiritual realm as you pray. But I want you to know, God wants you to pray and your prayers makes a, makes a difference. You know, we also see where sometimes in the heavenlies there's things go on, going on that we don't really know about. When we read the book, the book of Job, we see things sometimes happening. We see where Job is dealing with stuff on earth, but in the heavens there's a lot going on. Your prayer makes a difference in the heavens. And at some stage, what make, the difference that's made in the heavens filters into earth. And we need to stay in faith and stay in prayer and believe that prayer makes a difference. Not because God is somehow twisted by our prayers, that, that kind of notion that what we say and stuff like that will twist God's arm. No, we're joining in with God's desires and we're welcoming his kingdom. We're teaming up with God. We are ambassadors on earth and we're also representatives of earth. We're priests in the royal priesthood and we go between heaven and earth. We, we are in the gap and our prayers make that difference. Somehow that God has given us that authority to be gatekeepers, to welcome in something of his kingdom or to even reject. You are a gatekeeper, but we in the name of Jesus are gatekeepers that open up the gates for heaven to flood in. We agree with heaven. What is done in heaven, we agree. We bind what is bound in heaven. We loosen what is loosed in heaven and it creates that atmosphere on earth. So your prayers make a difference. So I'm so thankful that you're joining me with us in prayer. And there's different people uh, from all different groups. You know, there's both in Good News Christian Church, but also Citygate Prayer. We have people praying in the UK now as well. John Edwards has joined us. We even have people praying in Bulgaria who've joined in and decided to join in. Uh, you know, or the Bulgarian national leaders of Foursquare, they're joining in. So, you know, I want you to know that prayer is happening around the world all the time, but we're, we're concentrating right now for 21 days of prayer and fasting. Also in Matthew chapter 6, verse 17, Jesus turned around and he says, when you fast. And it's interesting today that sometimes people, you know, they get all kind of hung up about fasting as if, as if, you know, we don't need to fast today or those who do fast are doing it for religious reasons. They're gone religious or something or they're gone, you know, they're trying to be over spiritual. I want to tell you that New Testament believers are called to fasting. It is part of the discipline. We're called to be like Jesus and Jesus himself fasted for 40 days. We see in the New Testament where sometimes they're given up for times of prayer and fasting and God done amazing things among them. Even when Paul and them were gathered, Paul and Barnabas gathered for prayer and fasting, that then that's when God sent them out. Prayer and fasting. Fasting has a way of bringing us into a place that prayer is creating a humble place. Our hearts are humbled. We're able to listen to God, open to God's spirit. Fasting, again, like prayer, does not twist God's arm. It's not if you fast so long, you'll twist God's arm. No, fasting gets you into a place by which God can do what he already wants to do. 
It's getting you into a place of humility. It's getting you into a place where your whole being, you're creating that atmosphere in your body, you're creating that atmosphere in your soul, your thoughts, your minds. You're, you're creating that atmosphere by which your spirit can focus. You're dealing with stuff in fasting by which God can move in your life. Even Jesus himself, before he went into public ministry, spent 40 days fasting and praying. And during those times of fasting and praying, he dealt with the devil in very hand-to-hand -hand combat as such. And dealing with the emotions of his ministry, upcoming ministry, dealing with temptation that was real. So when you're fasting, it deals with inner working inside you as well that floods then out into your family, floods down into the nation. So I just want to encourage you to know that as you continue on with this, whether it's one day a week for the three weeks or whether it's you know, three days and three days and three days or whatever way you're doing it. Maybe you're going for the 21 days. Well done if you are. But as you pray and fast, know that whatever way you're praying and fasting, that every time you're praying, and if you couple that with fasting, it makes a difference. So I just want to say that to you. It makes a difference. Know that. Believe that. Believe that you're changing things in the heavens. You're changing things and dealing with stuff even inside you as you deal with the emotions that comes up through the hunger. God is moving greater in your life, greater in the atmosphere around us as we humble ourselves in prayer and fasting. So thanks for joining. It's a good to have you with us. You're going to get these messages now and again, just to encourage you on the way, just maybe some pointers about what about prayer and fasting to encourage you to continue on, or also some aspects about what maybe to pray for and how to pray about certain things. So continue to pray and fast. Uh, you know, first of all, if there was anything I would say to you to continue to pray and fast about is this, is Jesus himself said, you know, the workers are few, but the harvest is plentiful. And so just as a harvest field is ready, that we need more workers. And he said, pray to the Lord of the harvest that there be more workers in the field. So if there's anything I would like to encourage you to pray and know that it makes a difference as you fast and pray, is just pray that there will be more workers who would love and serve God and love and serve the people around them. People who would lay down their lives. People who would look for the harvest of souls to bring them into the kingdom. People who would look for those who are maybe struggling and help them to grow up and mature up, that they'd be workers in the harvest field. Because the harvest is plentiful, as the workers are few. Pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into the harvest field. And you, by praying, is part of that work. You, by interceding, it's part of that ministry work of bringing heaven to earth, bringing more of God's will into the earth, bringing his kingdom into their, this earth, his will to be done. His kingdom come in all its fullness. So God bless you. Continue on. Go for it. We can make a difference.